In this video, we'll look at how to set up custom animations for your presentations in Clever. For the demonstration, I'm using a free 3D model from the SketchUp 3D Warehouse. You can find it at bit.ly forward slash Clever House. I've imported it into the Architecture Daylight 8am preset, which you can find on the Create Project screen. As you can see, I've added some new elements to the interface of the presentation. You can find out how to do this in other tutorials. The text and the background are a graphic I created in Photoshop and saved as a PNG file. I inserted it into Clever as a 2D image, so it won't do anything when the viewer clicks on it. The two colour swatches are also PNG files, but this time I inserted them as 2D buttons so we can use them to trigger animations. Let's set them to change the colour of the roof of the house. In order to do this, we need to know which material the roof uses. Go to the Materials menu and select the Pick tool. If you click on the roof, you can see that it uses Material 5. Now let's set up our custom animations. Go to the Insert menu, then the Animation drop-down and select Modify Material. Click anywhere in the viewport. You can see that a pop-up has appeared asking which object in the scene we want to assign the animation to. In this case, Untitled 1 is the default name for the house model, so click on it to select it. The Materials dialog appears. We know that the roof uses Material 5, so select it in the list and click OK. You can see that the properties for the animation have appeared on the right of the screen. Let's name this one Turn Blue. Now let's set up the new colour for the roof. To do this, click on the colour swatch. You could choose a new colour by clicking in the colour square, but I'm going to enter numerical RGB values. Use a red value of 50. A green value of 115. and a blue value of 180. When you're done, click the cross icon to close the colour picker. You can see that the colour swatch has updated. Now we need to make the colour change when the viewer clicks on the corresponding button in the interface. To do this, go to the Presentation menu and click Elements. You can see that I've named the button Blue. If I click on it, its properties appear on the right of the screen. The Events rollout controls what happens when the viewer clicks the button. From the drop-down, choose Project Actions. Now click on the new drop-down to its right. In the Action dialog, select Turn Blue, then click OK. Now let's set up the animation for the other button. Go back to the Insert menu. Click on Animation, then on Modify Material. Click anywhere in the viewport to create the animation. Again, select Untitled 1 to assign the animation to the house. In the Materials dialog, select Material 5, then click OK. We'll name this animation Turn Green. Again, select a new colour for the roof by clicking on the colour swatch. This time, I'm going to use a red value of 85. A green value of 120. And a blue value of 85. When you're done, close the colour picker again. The other settings let you modify the animation. Duration sets the time it takes to fade in the new colour for the roof. The Colour Property drop-down lets you tint a material's diffuse texture or its specular highlights. The Intensity Property drop-down controls the intensity of the effect. In this case, the default settings should work fine, so let's assign the animation to a button. Go back to the UI Elements list and click on the green button. Again. In the Events rollout of the Properties panel, 
set the first drop down to Project Actions. Now click the second drop down. In the Action dialog, select Turn Green, then click OK. To see the animations, we need to preview the presentation. Go to the Project menu, click Preview, and then click Save. When the preview appears, you can see that I can change the colour of the roof by clicking on the coloured buttons.